Good morning, this is Bill coming to you live from Britta Hill for Simple Sunday Sermons, we'll call them. Beautiful day here, a little bit of fog back there, but the sun is coming up and it's going to be a beautiful day here. So let me share with you some of uh, my thoughts here for uh, the, B the BSV, Bill Simple version. I'll start with a quote by William Blake. It says this, we are put on earth a little space to learn to bear the beams of love. We are put on earth a little space to learn to bear the beams of love. I'm just getting back after my run with uh, my dog, having a little church out here myself on this beautiful morning, learning to bear the beams of love is the goal. And I'm a little embarrassed to say, but uh, I've been a Christian I'm not embarrassed to say this, I've been a Christian all my life, I've been a pastor for 30 years, but I sometimes still have this image of God sitting on a cloud up there with a long white beard, tossing out gumdrops to those who are the good ones and the uh, throwing lightning bolts at the rest of us. And I don't know, I don't think I'm the only one that has that childhood image that we're continue to awaken from. I meet monthly with a woman, she's 86 years old, and monthly we talk about the same theme. And she came to meet with me last Wednesday. She sat down in my office and she took her time, she paused for quite a while, and then she looks up at me and she asks earnestly, she says, Bill, tell me, tell me, God is love. She's had a life where she hasn't experienced it. It's been hard for her to accept and to receive that. So we talk about that. We encourage each other and I encourage her and her soul. The older I get, the simpler it becomes. Uh, the more simple and perhaps the more profound it becomes. And this is all I know these days, and it, go back, it goes back to three words in Scripture. The three most important words. Would you like to know what they are? Would you like to hear them? These three words, God is love. That's the message. That's the radical, life-changing message. And it can change us, and it can make us happier and we can enjoy this life. The challenge is to receive it and to believe that. And I think we get one of the most beautiful expressions of this love in the life and ministry, death, resurrection of Jesus. But sometimes it's hard for us to be aware, to really live in a constant awareness of this love and to receive it and take it in. So I'll share with you uh, a short parable. It's a parable about two fish and two young fish are swimming in the ocean and there's an old fish that's swimming by. And the old fish says to the two younger fish, Good morning, boys. How's the water? And the two young fish swim by a little bit. And all of a sudden they pause and they look at each other kind of quizzically and they ask each other, What the heck? What the heck is water? And when I share this parable, I need to get some time to think about it because it takes a little bit of time to think about it. But it reminds me of that passage in the Bible that says, in God, we live and move and have our being. In love, we live and move and have our being. And I think one of the secrets of life is learning how to live, to receive that, to believe in it, to have faith in it, to allow it, to celebrate it, to enjoy it. Figuring out how to do that. So I'll, I'll end with a prayer. Uh, one of my favorite prayers from Ephesians that I often pray for my kids before they go to bed when they were little. I still pray it for myself and others quite a bit. And this is a prayer, I think it summarizes best what it's all about. A wonderful prayer and here it goes. Uh, change the pronouns as you need, uh, but take it into your heart. Here it is. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he will strengthen you with power 
through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith and that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide, how long, how high and deep <laughs> is the love of Christ, the love of God and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you'll be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Ah, beautiful. It surpasses words to explain. It surpasses our knowledge, this incredible sea of God's love that we swim in. So this week, may you practice, maybe use that quote for seven days and let simply receive and let God's love soak in on you. Uh, that William Blake quote, we're put on earth a little space to learn to bear the beams of love. Just picture God's love soaking you up. Or maybe it's this prayer from Ephesians that you want to meditate on a little bit and come to know it. Or maybe you have other suggestions about how you practice allowing, enjoying, and receiving this magnificent love of God. I'd love to read about those in the comments below. So until next time, uh, may you live all the days of your life.